Hey guys, welcome back to LS Family Fitness. I'm Lisa. How's everyone doing? I hope you are doing well today. I hope you enjoyed the jump rope video. I, again, I apologize for not being able to do that with you, but my ankle was not happy with me and any type of jumping on that ankle, one tendon, you don't want to chance it and that's just something I, it's non-negotiable. But I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, I will have more jump rope workouts for you guys, more advanced as we go through the year. So stay tuned for that if that was one of your favorites. Because I got actually some great feedback from some, some clients that I train that live near me. And they absolutely love the beginning jump rope. So we did have to talk about some better sports bras. For a few of my clients so if you had that issue when you were jumping things got a little sore they weren't supposed to be sore guys okay so you might want to invest in a little stronger sports bra and we can cover that in a video if you want to talk about sports bras I'm all too happy to talk about that because it is an important to topic you can't hurt yourself but today Today we are here to talk about ideas how you can be your best without sacrificing things you like. And I get new clients when people move. I, I very rarely get openings to train people. But I get a couple. Every now and then somebody will move, job, whatever. Or they'll have a health issue come up. But anyway. I had two this year and I met with some more clients actually friends of the people that were waiting because anyway um and when I met with them I I was when I met with them the first things out of their mouth was was I want to be healthier I want to be this you know better fit better you know my doctor doesn't fuss at me so much but I it's too restrictive. It's too hard. It's too much. It's, I'm going to be miserable. I get it. I get it. Especially if you guys watch YouTube. YouTube fitness channels or you watch TikTok or any of that. You do get the idea where if you live healthy to be, you know, look like this and to, which honestly, I'm sorry, if it's not in your genes, you're not going to have abs you're not gonna be six five seven five ten blonde blue eyed sorry it's not in your genes nothing you can do physically fit will make you look like that but yeah i get healthy living gets a bad rap because people associate it with limiting themselves of not having things they like of it not being fun of it being restrictive i get it so, I'm here to give you the talk I give my clients. You're getting it for free, guys. I'm going to give you the talk, and I'm going to give you some ideas. Now, these aren't all the ideas, but these are some of the ideas you can do. But you can, you once I give you these ideas, you're going to be like, oh, okay, I know how to do this. And then you'll find it's not that. It's just like, it's a secret that fitness trainers don't want to let out because then everybody would do be healthy and we wouldn't be needed. But, you know, that's not the case. If you're a good fitness trainer, personal trainer, fitness group, health instructor, or whatever, you're always going to be needed. You're always going to be needed. Okay. So what is the trick? Do what you like. That's the whole secret to healthy living. But then, and I know a lot of you are going, whoa, wait, how can that be? Because I do what I like and my doctor is telling me I'm borderline diabetic. I'm obese. I'm this. I'm that. Okay. Do what you like differently. Okay. Now, I don't know if y'all, if I don't know if you guys remember, but several several videos back I don't even remember it, last year I told you I hate food journals and I do I really hate for people to keep food journals 
because I think that promotes eating disorders. I really do. I, I hate them with a passion. The only reason I get my clients to keep one for the first week only is just so they can see when they tell me I eat healthy or I eat balanced, they can see they don't. But otherwise, I tell them, throw it away. Don't ever use it again because I hate them because they lead to EV. But what I do like is meal planning. Meal planning, I, I, I plan, I plan, always have, always have. I just got to where I put it in a notebook or a journal. I, this is my new meal plan journal. I just got to where I use this. Before I had those meal plan little pieces of paper, they're printed for meal planning, and I would stick it on my calendar pages. Well, this is too full. It won't go anymore. So having one that I can do my grocery list, it comes with this thing you can make copies of that says groceries I buy over and over. We all have them. My husband orders kind of the same thing every two weeks, every two weeks, sometimes every week. So I know what, I know there are things in my grocery list that I'm going to order multiples of. Now I'm, oh, I found them. Okay, it comes with this kitchen inventory, which is like, what you have, what you don't. You can make copies of these. A monthly meal plan, kitchen inventory, healthy grocery list, and there was one thing where what you order over it. Oh yeah, kitchen inventory, monthly meal plan. Oh, a conversion chart. I always like a conversion chart. Oh well, and there was this thing somewhere, I still don't know where it is, where you order the same thing. So you have like a grocery list and you just have things that you always order on there. But I meal plan. And I do that because that way I hate grocery shopping. I hate it. And if I don't write down a list, I forget stuff. Like I will totally forget half my list. So I meal plan. Here's my meal plan. I'll share it with you. You probably don't like my food, but that's okay. Um, so here's my meals with sides and all that. And, like, this came with stickers, like, favorite meals, well, our tacos. I do HelloFresh, which is right here, which I love HelloFresh because it comes with everything. But this isn't sponsored. Then I have my other meals. And if you notice, I have one day Mart takeout. And I'll have this in every week because my husband loves takeout, but I don't. And takeout gets expensive, especially if he would order it every day. So what I tell him is, hey, if you'll eat what I cook for th five days a week, six days a week, on one day a week, you can order. Saves us money. So he's like, okay. So I put my takeout, I mark it on my food planning. But anyway, as you can see, this is all it is. It's breakfast, lunch, and dinner has notes over here if I need ingredients for something, whatever. I meal plan. Meal planning is one way you can be healthier, have fun with it. Then you get to try new recipes. That's that's what I think meal planning does because you'll say, oh, well, I'm, I'm cooking the same things over and over and over again. And if you meal plan, then you might get more adventurous with your food, okay? And try different recipes and if you have the internet which if you're watching YouTube obviously you do you can look up all sorts of recipes free so that's meal planning is great and, and you'll you'll be surprised how often you cook the same things over and over and that when you meal plan how more um, how wide your options get now if you don't like to cook I get it so maybe you eat out three days a week if you can afford that and you cook at home four. But cooking at home, make it an adventure. Make it, you know, like I said, try new recipes. Um, if you're not single and you have somebody to cook with, or if you are single but you have friends who are also single, come over and cook with me, you know, and go to different people. Come over and let's cook. Let's meal plan and cook together. 
Or I'll cook this week and make extra, and then you cook next week and make extra. It's a great way to expand what you eat and to stick on a more healthy food journey than eating out seven days a week. Even if you eat out for a day. Okay, what else? Well, do you like to shop? Do you like to, um, I don't know. Do you like to shop? Do you like to watch people? Go to mall. Walk a mall. There's still some. If you're in California, you have the best choice of malls, hands down. But if you're not, other places do have malls here and there. Find one, go walk a mall. It's a great way. You get your exercise, you get to people watch, or you get to window shop. Just leave your wallet in the car. Or only bring your ID with you, and then you won't buy anything. But walk them all. See the latest styles, then go thrift them. It's really fun. That's a way to be healthy. That's fun because you're out, you're in, you know, around people, and you're engaging in one of your favorite pastimes, whether that's people watching, walking, or shopping. Okay. Another way to make healthy living fun is to challenge yourself because healthy living is about you feeling good, okay? It's not just about food. It's about feeling good. It's about getting out, interacting, feeling your best self when you look in a mirror, okay? So let's say you're always on YouTube or, yeah, and you watch all these designers, Challenge yourself to go to a thrift store and recreate a designer outfit. Create a Pinterest board and then challenge yourself to go to a thrift store once a month and then build one whole outfit, shoes, pants, or shoes, outfit, accessories, purse, sunglasses, the whole nine yards. That makes it fun. And then how many outfit dupes can you build and compare your cost with the cost you save. Then you might also be financially healthier than you are now. Get outside. I know some people are like, mm, I don't like outside. It's too hot. It's too cold. You get skin cancer. True. Print on your sunscreen. Get outside. Go to a park near you. Take off your shoes in warm weather. Stick those toesies in the grass, in the dirt. Connect with the earth. Plant something. Well, I don't have a green thumb. I can't do that. I don't care. Plant something. Every state, every place has a plant that you can plant and it won't die. It's foolproof. It's, it's brown thumb proof. Find the plant in your area. Plant it. Plant. It's good for you. It's part of a healthy lifestyle. Connecting with the planet. Connecting with the mother of all mothers, Mother Earth. Okay? It's good for you to get your hands dirty. Get your toes in the dirt. Well, I live in an apartment, and parks aren't safe, or whatever. Okay, I've got an option for you, too. I got this. Come on. I got this for um, Christmas. Indoor Herb Garden Starter Kit. This is perfect for those meals that you and your friends are going to cook, or you and your family. And it gets your fingers in the dirt. And you grow things. We're going to do this one on this channel. Because this is part of healthy living. It ticks off so many boxes. It's good for you. It can be whatever herbs. If you like Italian, you might want to grow um, basil, oregano. If you like Mexican... You might want to grow Mexican food. You might want to grow cilantro, dill, um, thyme. 
cumin. Oh, that's from cilantro in it. I think so. Anyway, you know what I mean. Just plant. Okay? Do it. So we've talked about exercising. We've talked about cooking more at home, meal planning. We've talked about getting out and enjoying a hobby of walking, shopping, or people watching. We've talked about challenging yourself. Build those designer outfits from a thrift store. There are high-end thrift stores, guys. Okay? There are those... What are those stores called? Uh, consignment. Okay? If you want high-end... Whatever. I'm just saying do it. Challenge yourself. Learn a new sport if you like sports. If Say you're a great tennis player, but during the winter it's too cold. Learn pickleball. Is it played inside or racquetball? I think racquetball is played inside. Learn basketball. Go to one of those bouncy gyms and learn to bounce on all the bouncy things. There's a lot of options, guys. You're only limited by you. That's it. So living a healthy lifestyle doesn't mean you always eat the same boring food. It doesn't mean you go to the same fitness class twice a week. It means try new fitness classes. Try yoga. Try um, Pilates. Try kickboxing. Try boxing. Try, you know, that bouncy one, uh, parkour or whatever it's called. Walk the malls. Run the malls, though. You know, somebody might think you stole something, but you know, get out. Volunteer. Volunteer your time. You know what? If you craft, make some craft and take it to a nursing home. Get out. Living healthy is just not about what you eat. Living healthy is for your physical mental, emotional well-being. It's all of that combined. And definitely on the weekend, whichever day your weekend is, because not everybody's is Saturday or Sunday, do a reset. You know, make that the day that you take a nice long hot shower, shave your arms and your legs, not your arms, shave your armpits, your legs, um, wash your hair, you know, color your hair, uh, do your eyebrows. Do your nails. Have a reset day where you restock all of your, you know, everything you're out of to make you feel better. It's possible. And if you meal plan and cook a lot of your meals at home, you're going to have more money for all this other stuff. Trust me. It works. So, guys... Living a healthy lifestyle does not have to mean you're miserable. You can actually be happier. Just don't limit yourself to what a healthy lifestyle means. That's the problem. And remember, if you're 410, got have a brunette and you're, you know, got a middle-aged body, no matter what you do, you're not going to turn 30 and be 5'11 blonde with abs. It doesn't happen. Something else I want you to do, start a personal journal. And write down things you like about yourself. And things you don't, be honest. But how can you turn the things you don't like about yourself into things you like? I'm a pushover. I, I say yes to everything. Well, I can start saying no. If I don't have time, I can say no. I don't have time. Or, you know what? Yes, I did gain five extra pounds. And you know what? I'm glad I did because now I have an ass. Own it. Own it. Have a personal journal that you can write down whatever your heart desires in. Just for you. And if you have a particularly bad day, like somebody just really hurts you or you just really like have a wreck or something and it's your fault, 
go home, get a piece of paper, individual sheet of paper, write it all down, all of it. Dump your whole day on that piece of paper. Write it all out. Then crumple it up, throw it in the trash, you're done. You're done. That's part of a healthy lifestyle. Letting go, realizing we're all human, we all make mistakes, letting the mistakes go, learning from them, and going forward. You have to do it to grow. Sometimes society makes us feel so bad about being human and about making mistakes that we can't grow, we can't go past it because society's too bad throwing it back up in our face. And if you have somebody in your life that does that, tell them, no, I've, I've dealt with this already. If you haven't dealt with it, you need to write it all down on a piece of paper and throw it away because I'm done with it. And sometimes you have to throw people out of your life. All part of a healthy lifestyle. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure and give it a thumbs up. I will link this down below in the comment section. I will link this really cool meal planner journal down below because I love mine. And I just hope you all have an amazing day. We are kind of come back. I dropped all my cards. We're going to come back on Wednesday because you're going to get three videos this week if it kills me. And this week, you're... I have them written down, too. I have a new planner. Social media planner. Okay. And on Wednesday, we are talking... Going gray. Going gray. Gray hair. Women and gray hair in society. So come back on Wednesday for that. And then I'll tell you what Friday's is on Wednesday. Guys, have an amazing start to your week tomorrow. Take care. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.